The warm rain beating on downtown Wilmington reminds me of a prize boxing champion beating on a poor old defenseless woman with a terminal illness that's just fallen down the stairs. I suppose the weather is fitting for the day I'm having. Not a single case in two weeks. I was beginning to get that itch again. An itch that could only be satisfied by a good mystery cracked. Like a thick steel vault cracked by a comically oversized sledgehammer. A good mystery. Like maybe a murder. I do love a good murder. That's when she arrived. She was wearing a dress blacker than sin itself. Hair flowing down like the rain outside. And a look on her face that said she was looking for trouble. That, or she was constipated. I've never been too good at reading facial expressions. What did she come to my door for? Maybe she was a new neighbor simply wanting to borrow some sugar. But why would somebody get all dressed up to ask for sugar? That's honestly just a really big waste of time and makes somebody look embarrassingly vain. Of course, maybe she- Um, hi! Um, I guess you're waiting on me to say something first since you've been staring at me for about a minute now. <coughs> mm. Apologies, ma'am. Uh, get lost in my thoughts quite easily. Oh, that's quite alright. That's all I have the thoughts were about me. Well, uh, brings you to the office of Stephen Carroll, P.I. Miss, uh... Lewis. But my friends call me Lou. Uh, are we friends then, Lou? Well, that surely depends on if you can help me with the problem I'm having. Take a seat. You see, Detective, there's been a murder. I was just thinking about murder. Right. The thing is, the police have pinned the murder on my brother, but he's innocent. I know he didn't do it, but he doesn't have a very trustworthy reputation, and he was alone the night the man was killed. And a supposed murder of a police officer isn't a good accusation to shake. Let's see, dead officer. But why would the police pin your brother at the crime? Because my brother saw mozzarella the head of the Italian mom. I understand if you're very hesitant to take this case, Detective Carroll, but I need you. I can't clear my brother's name without you, and what, the supposed murderer will just go off freely? Besides, who really is the money? Well, Lou, I uh, suppose I'll look into it. See what I can find out. I'll get a hold of uh, some of my contacts down at the station and maybe they'll let me take a peek at the crime scene. Thank you, Steven. Anytime you have any questions or anything else, don't hesitate to call us number. Of course, I did have to complain, didn't I? Like a surprise kick to the pants taking off guard by the case of a lifetime. I don't even know what I'm getting myself into. I might be making enemies with the people I'm supposed to be on the same side with. But like an overweight, middle-aged man, I find myself coming back to the sugar-coated mystery, even though I know it may kill me, simply because it tastes the sweetest. Hello? Yes, this is Stephen Carroll, P.I. Need to speak with Captain Summers. Tell her I'm cashing in that favor. <laughs>